So that's where I'm like, don't worry about me. Um, that's, do you guys hear me? Am I not like speaking too? Okay. Um, why do people mic this in problem? Okay, that explains a lot. So anyways, is it off now? Okay, okay. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, so I really wanted to take do that because of it being a cheaper option that it's just easy to pay for myself if something goes weird. Uh, it also seems just like a simple option to get into and just do. Uh, but it's I can only get a computer science degree, uh, like master's with a focus in machine learning versus getting a degree literally in artificial intelligence. So that's kind of where I'm like, that's the big difference between the two. I'm not too caring. I don't care too much about like saying if I went to Georgia Tech or I went to Johns Hopkins. I just more care about like what is my degree. Uh, they're both online. Yeah. So there is a hybrid option for Johns Hopkins, but yeah, you know, no, yeah, Georgia Tech. I was only doing online. I was just because I needed to build a work in Maryland, and so I just need something that I can fit in to get a master's. Can I ask you what what work do you do in Asia? What do you do in Asia? No, what what do I do? Yeah, I sit in a room, drink coffee, and brainstorm of how the heck can we do this, and then conclude that there's no way. And then yeah, that's how we do that. Well, I, I think a big thing is I read a lot of papers dealing with it because um, the biggest thing, and like I've I've got my definitions now, but one of the biggest things in the beginning of what I was getting into is what is um, intelligence. Please answer it. Uh, anyone want to volunteer to answer? Go ahead. Um, so I will define the narrow intelligence. What is intelligence? Just generally. In general intelligence. What is intelligence? One that mimics human beings. I That's can, a decent definition. Like an adaptive uh, pattern recognition. So we already have that with like ChatGPT, right? But I wouldn't. I would say that it's not as adaptive as like we are. Okay. Oh, the whole game of. <laughs> Give them that be great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, anyone else? We should play that. Yeah. <laughs> we can do that right now. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Wait, it's not given A, but it still produces B. The opposite is A and I. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Like that. Really, uh, my conclusion is intelligence, A, artificial general intelligence, no, is really how you define. So, like all of my projects, all of my attempts at doing AGI, always at the very start, what is artificial general intelligence? I declare what it is, and then based on my definition, I proceed it. And so if I prove, if I were to successfully make something that proves my definition, someone could be like, it's not AGI, because that's not my definition. And I'm like, cool, but it's my definition. And if people agree with my definition, cool. Now, one thing, obviously, is it's useless if you define AGI as like something really dumb and everybody else thinks it. So it's useful to like look into the literature and figure out what roughly looks like AGI and then pursue it. So my um, definition of like AGI, now I'm going to talk for like 12 hours. Okay, uh, I do have to go at some point. But um, basically, my definition of uh, API, I would like, um, so let's actually just go to intelligence. So, um, intelligence, I would define, and I've read papers, very long papers, just I would say this is the best, best definition, um, is intelligence is how efficiently you can take your priors, so just things you already know, and then in a specific task, um, Gain experience in and the how efficiently you can put your priors, that experience you gain from doing that task and learning, and how efficiently you can put those together and actually um, do that new task. Um, so, generally, like okay, let's see. reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is cool, but it has very minimal priors for the most part. Now, modern, they're getting away from that, but for the most part, you have minor priors and you have nothing. You know nothing. Maybe you're using a convolution layer to you. Have some priors for like vision or something, but that's like the minimum. You have to take all of that, um, of like no priors, just a general framework, and then you have to learn how to do something. Okay. What happens in neural networks is, for the most part, you're not getting intelligence. You're actually just producing a prior. And so what what that means is like if you make a some a recognition program that recognizes cats or dogs, then when I mean, you're done training that, you have something that has like this prior of recognizing cats and dogs. But you don't actually have some like general prior for the most part. It's just very specific. To it's a map. A what? A map. A map. Yeah, basically. And so, 
Um, so ultimately, uh, intelligence comes down to how efficiently you can take um, your bias and experience. What that means is something's more intelligent if it takes less experience. So reinforcement learning algorithms, for example, sometimes take like millions of tries to learn how to do something. If you had an algorithm like a human, uh, if you applied a human algorithm to it, um, like using your brain cells or whatever, you could do that um, way more efficiently. So that, by definition, that algorithm that has using human brain cells or whatever is more efficient, more intelligent. Another thing, though, you have to, uh, which gets difficult, is it's not fair to compare different things with different priors. So if you're using, if you're comparing a machine with a human intelligence, the, you have to have the assumption that that machine has the same pro level of core priors that human has for you to really compare the intelligence. So a machine might have more intelligence, but it might not have any priors of how the Earth and how this uni specific universe works. And so it's just not useful in our general human intelligence. So that's why oftentimes we, the only way we define intelligence is your first definition you gave is like it's human. Like it does human intelligent type of things. That's what people usually. That's, yeah, usually. And so based on that, though, you have the assumption that the machine you're giving the, having it learn how to do things has human priors. Or it's just not a fair playing, uh, like, uh, playing ground. So you're simply setting the standard that my standard for general intelligence is simply a machine that's able to learn as many times as a human being, as good as a human being could in the number of times a human being could. So if I'm yes, learn, given what human beings do. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but we, that's like, so that's like very general intelligence. What is intelligence? But for the most part, we don't actually care about that because we just want something that's as smart as a human, right? And so what if we gave, this is like a possible solution to AGIs, what if we just get so many priors that it doesn't actually have to have much of an intelligent algorithm? It just has enough priors and has enough time to take, do enough experiences or, or whatnot where it can do all human tasks. So if we gave it priors of understanding like the whole earth and all the things that exist currently, that would be pretty useful. And if we just send a software update for every new thing that comes into existence, so like if you had a, a natural language processing model that has the prior of language, right, um, pre-trained tra before COVID, it's not gonna know a bunch about COVID, right? So something like you might wanna release an update that includes COVID after COVID happened, or whatnot, some things like that. But for the most part, if you had a model that incorporated all these priors. This is kind of what uh, like Tesla's trying to do with their drive self-driving cars. And they're just trying to train it so well and with so much data that it just basically has priors for every situation in driving, which is not fully going to happen. But they might get a point where it's like, it's enough. And so that's like one way where you can get like AGI because it does all the things humans want. Is it really like singularity type of a, like artificial intelligence where it's going to just keep spiraling, getting more intelligent, more intelligent? Probably not, because really it's faking its intelligence. It's like this crystallized version of intelligence where it's not using more than it already knows or really thinking outside of the box type of thing. But one criticism, I and mean, it's still dependent on human beings to update it. I mean, well, I mean yeah. intelligence is quite independent. Even though we learn from others, it's our spectacular ability to sometimes learn visually without yeah. others. So that's actually one thing is that if we possibly, if we gave it enough priors to do human things, and like a bunch of different human things, it possibly could do, um, it could code itself, it could update itself. Do that. Um, <laughs> to um, so, yeah, so that's one of the things where, yes, we can make an algorithm that does AGI, but not actually intelligent. And then it could just keep, it, it would be, have enough priors to be intelligent. It's very weird, because like intelligence is just a weird thing. Go ahead. You know, there is, I was, uh, it was quite weeks ago. I, I saw an interview with someone, and he's actually, he spoke about something interesting. Having neural networks, his name is something green, uh, I don't remember his last name. Mm. Um, but it's simply um, having neural networks write on an, an expanded, neural networks starting another new, uh, neural network in a sense. Uh, there's like so many different things I could possibly, like, um, uh, it was like an evolution genetic algorithm type of thing? But I, I'm not entirely sure, but, um, there are just a bunch of different ways for AGI, and I, like I don't know, I won't talk too much more on this because I do have to go. But um, the other thing I would say to it though is that's like what the intelligence algorithm is. But like the two approaches I would say for generally for AGI um, for like practical use case is you make a high intelligence algorithm and then you apply it into a AGI system that or a human system. So you make a high intelligence algorithm, give it to a human system like that does human things, right? 
or you make from the core, you make a thing that does human type of things. And it doesn't have to use your high intelligence algorithm because if you give it enough priors, it can actually, like with very simple reasoning that like we can hard code, it can just do things. Now, will it have like real intelligence? No. But if it has enough general things, just like ChatGPT seems to have intelligence, it will do that same. But in a, in a, if it has full domain access, it will be as smart as like a human. And if you look at ChatGPT, ChatGPT knows more than any human, like single human, because it's trained on all humans, or at least on the internet. So, um, so you'll get something that actually seems smarter than a human because it knows everything about humans because it has so much knowledge. It just doesn't, and it will know how to apply knowledge based on its knowledge, but it just can't do more than that. High wisdom, low int. Yes, yes. It's starting to do that, though. Yeah, no, they're starting to get to that. Yes. Yeah. Well, because uh, the video I linked in the office, I don't know if it was Officer or General Discord, but uh, they were testing it against some medical diagnosis, of, diagnosis of whatever, and uh, it was able to come up with a diagnosis just by uh, summating other information it had. There was no, yeah. like, reason for it to come up with its diagnosis, yeah. but it did off prior knowledge that it was given and it was accurate apparently. Dang. Yeah, so that, that's basically like, I, if you were to ask me like how we're actually gonna get like AGI-like systems, that's gonna be the way, is we're gonna have things that just have so many priors that it's enough to be human level-ish intelligent. But if you're running something that's more intelligent than humans, um, that may be difficult. Like it's, machines are different because like, Obviously, you could get it to think 10 times faster than a human, so then it's like, well, is it more powerful than a human then? Even if it's saying like level intelligence. Um, so there's a definitely like, the machine definitely could be smarter than a human, even if it doesn't have high intelligence. And so I think, I think that would be the way we get artificial general intelligence is that um, general, um, just so many priors, we put them all together into a system that just makes it act as though it's like, it's uh, human, does human things. Hello. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah. I know, I know they're working on analog digital hybrid models. So, yeah, those are super cool. Yeah. Um, like silver chromium alloy or something like that. Yeah, I, I don't know too many details about it, but that's like, I've, I've heard of spiking neurons. That that's, might be related to that. The other thing is uh, doing pure, like, uh, analog, too. Yeah. Um, where, like, it'll do matrix, uh, matrix multiplication using analog, which is so much faster. But it has a it has a air rating. But if you convert it back to digital and then go back to analog, you basically can preserve some accuracy even though you're doing analog com computation. So it will definitely speed up uh, our computations. Um, and then spiking neurons is another method. It's actually much, it works a lot more like a human brain does because it, uh, it actually is using spikes, which is what a brain does. Um, and that's more efficient because you don't have to send as much power through because you just send it. And it, yeah, it's, it's confusing. Intel is working on it. Um, a couple other companies I think are too. Yeah. Um, well, y'all can get out of here, yeah. talk to yourselves, invent AGI, rule the world, yeah. or whatever the heck you want to do. Um, can I get off just now? Yeah. I. His his name is Travis. Wait with the camera, Travis. Yeah. So maybe huh? can you can do camp camera. Me too. What do you mean? Yeah. Say bye. Yeah. Bye. bye. <laughs> I, I love her. Like I love how our meetings. I feel like it's so cringe, but it's like, like on the video. Whoever's watching the video, it's like. No, it's got it all, man. It has the technical. It has the philosophical. It has the conceptual. It's also like I, I like because it's just it's not like I'm lecturing as much as like let's just talk. Yeah. It, it sometimes is not fun when like no one knows what to talk about things. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, likewise, could talk about our officer probably going to be.